Ladies and gentlemen, it's a big, big, big honor to be here today. So I'll, it's not a very good slot just before lunch. I realize that. So I'll try to keep it to max nine minutes. Okay. So let's just give it one second. So I'm Kirsten. I'm one of the founders and CEO of Out There Media. And I'd like to start actually with the quote of Mr. Rodney Ward that he just shared with us, which is that ASEAN is the most attractive investment destination in the world at this point. And so we could not agree more with that. Thank you for that, for that statement also. Um, we have been here already since 2010. And today, 90% of our global revenues are actually coming out of ASEAN. And we have not even covered all of ASEAN, so we're in the Philippines, we're in Indonesia, we're in Singapore, we're in Malaysia, and now we're expanding into Thailand, uh, Vietnam, as well as Myanmar, which is going to be extremely exciting. But yes, thank you, and uh, very, ha very happy that this region has been treating us so well. Um, as I said, today 90% of our revenues are coming from the region. Um, we are in mobile advertising and basically aligning all the telcos and advertisers in the market. And so those telcos, and so unfortunately Tony just left, they and Piyush also left, but they um, also don't like each other. So we heard that yesterday, that people across, uh, across the board don't, trying to work together don't like each other, and they don't also don't pretend to. Uh, so what we are trying to do is exactly cut through that diversity and aligning the telcos across the entire region and advertisers. And I'll show you today how we do that and then give you a case, uh, a, a case video um, of what we will bring to the region next. Oh, and of course, we're also Endeavor entrepreneurs. So we were all part of that amazing session of Cindy yesterday. We're very proud to be part of the Endeavor Network. It has helped us to build, or to start to build our own mafia, <laughs> as we heard yesterday. Okay, so, there's seven billion people on the globe. Six billion have a phone. Four billion have a toothbrush, which means there are 50% more phones than toothbrushes on this planet. 1.4 billion have a TV. So this is really the only medium with which we can reach everybody. Urban, rural, the medium that, cr that cuts across all parts of society. And that is what is very, very essential. We're using that medium to integrate societies, to change societies, even to transform people's lives. In ASEAN, we're 600 million people and 650 have a phone. So our mission is to improve people's lives by using technology, big data, and relevancy. Um, yeah, and how do we do that? So the most important person in the value chain is obviously the consumer. The consumer is the one we all care about, whether it's the banking sector, whether it's the foods and beverages, whether it's retail, any, any sector. That consumer wants to receive relevant information that he or she cares about. That consumer is always connected to a telco or two. So the specific case here is, um, I just took some examples of our partners in the region, so that's Maxis and Digi in Malaysia, that is Globe in the Philippines, one of our first partners, by the way, uh, Globe, uh, the Ayala Group, but also Maxis, uh, as well as Excel, belonging to the Axiata Group. On the other side of the equation, you have the industry, you have the brands and agencies, you have the sectors that want to reach that person with the right information at the right time. Um, and you have an increasing number of SMEs, small, medium enterprises, who have some, oftentimes not the funds to advertise their services and therefore don't really make an improvement. What we come in is we, we give them the tools and the means um, to reach the right person with the right message at the right time. So, that's exactly where we come in, aligning the telcos across our platform, our technology platform, that's called Mobux, um, as well as the brands and agencies and the SMEs. 
And we then get an opt-in from people. We ask all of the Philippines, all of Indonesia, all of Malaysia, and so on. Uh, would you like to receive great stuff from your favorite brands or from your favorite bank uh, directly on your phone, completely free of charge? And so people say, yes, that's great. Oh my God, I would love to have that. Um, as long as it's relevant and, and, and targeted. So as soon as an ad is targeted and relevant, it's not perceived as ad, but as useful information. Um, and so we have almost half of the Philippines opted in, but I'll get to that, uh, to that uh, in a second. We then gather data from those people who have shared their data with us, uh, but also from our telco partners. And that's really how we can get the right information to the right person at the right time. Here we have the example of AirAsia. AirAsia has been our client. AirAsia is using our platform mainly to promote offers and destination offers. Again, it's a pity that Tony's not in the room. Um, and so that person is um, extremely happy. The telco is happy because they're making extra money. So we heard yesterday from Mr. Rusli that margins are squeezed of the telcos. This is an additional, a new form of, 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 of getting revenues, and of course, AirAsia and all the others are happy because they have been able to reach the right person with the right message. Um, today, in ASEAN, we have 70 million people who have opted in with us and our telco partners and have said, yes, I would like to, uh, to, to receive relevant ads. So that's more than 10% of ASEAN. The aim is to grow that number to 300 million by the end of this year. So that's our, our goal. Um, just a quick look, I, don't, I hate logo slides, just that these are our clients and our telco partners who we are extremely uh, happy for. And big picture is we want to get all the telcos in the region aligned through the platform. So today we already have 15. Um, and of course, the big industry players or, or any player who would like to, to advertise for our mobile phone. So we're creating a marketplace, technology, we're using technology, creating a marketplace, um, cutting through diversity, enabling all participants to, to be part. Um, I would now like to share a case, the case video, as I said in the beginning. So this is something we're now bringing to first Singapore, then Malaysia, and then the Philippines, and then also uh, Indonesia. Um, it's, it's about Paul Bakery. So we all know Paul is this bakery chain from France. Uh, they have opened and set up shop here in Singapore recently and expanding heavily. Their problem, th th that's what they have also been doing in Europe. So their problem has been that people didn't know uh, the shop and the shops were empty. Uh, we went to Paul and said, hey, we're going to prove to you that with the use of that medium, we can fill up your shop, your bakery, within seven minutes. Paul said, no, there's no way. I mean, I've been spending millions and millions on advertising, and I've been printing all those leaflets, and um, I don't seem to be getting the right traction. Said, okay, let's, let's just try. So we went out and showcased that in Prague. The case was a, an amazing result, uh, success, and that's why we're taking it now to ASEAN. And that's the one I want to show, share with you. Um, please pay attention to the, to the KPIs in the end because they're the most powerful on why this makes sense uh, across, across the region as well. And now I would like to ask for the video, please. That is location-based, so within one kilometer radius. Shop is empty. That's our platform. And suddenly the shop has filled up. This showcase that we're shooting today with their media here in Prague proves the power of location-based services in mobile advertising. 
by capturing people, sending them the right message at the right time, exactly when it's appropriate, the power that we give to advertisers is actually unique. Today, we're actually showing here in Paul Bakery, in Andel, in Prague, that it's working. Look at this lady here. Can I see your message? Thank you. She got this message while she was within a one kilometer radius of this area, and she came, and in a few minutes, she will get a free croissant and a free coffee from um, uh, Paul Baker here in Andel. So this is exactly shows that if you have the right customer at the right place, at the right time, and you give them the right message, everyone wins. stop the video here oh okay what it really says is that with uh, w w the last slide talks about how many people can you reach with 1,000 euros so that's roughly one and a half thousand uh, dollars um, and so it's 25,000 with mobile versus 118 with TV and so we're extremely excited to be able to bring that to the region and we're also very grateful that the region has been so open and, um, and, and, and uh, treated us so well over the past years. Thank you very much. <laughs>